Owners of a new Northern Westchester restaurant and bar think that they found the perfect recipe to keep them afloat during uncertain times for their industry. Our Ben Nandy was at their grand opening uh, in a remote area in Cortland. He joins us with more on how they're navigating challenges that were brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic. Ben. Right, we're here at K&P Lounge. They seem to get off to a pretty good start today. You're going to see why in just a moment. But how long is this going to last? That's going to depend on a few things. Longtime friends Katrina Harris and Pamela T. Rue say even though the food service industry as a whole is suffering, they picked the right time and place to open this soul food and Puerto Rican restaurant. Their grand opening was packed. Yeah, just to have 338 people register <laughs> to come here, that spoke volumes for itself. They might be entering uncertain times. The president of the New York State Restaurant Association tells me over the last year, as much as 8% of their member restaurants shut down. That's about 350 establishments. So what about the future? My crystal ball is kind of cloudy at the moment. So is it better? Yes. But is it that much better? Is it sustainable? Is it going to continue into 2023? Those are all questions that we have as well right now. Harris and Tiru are encouraged by the immediate response from their community. I was very worried when we first came out because I kept saying to Miss Pam, ain't nobody going to come out here to see us. It's we're, dark. We're dark. We're in the woods. <laughs> it's too far out. But it's really actually only 10 minutes away. And the, these people walk here just to come and sit and have a drink. Their timing might be good after all. The National Restaurant Association says 77% of customers they polled plan to eat out during the holiday season. I want to say one more thing about worker retention. That issue alone has killed restaurants, but it's less of an issue here. The owners do most of the work, they do most of the cooking, and they have a long line of relatives ready to step in and help with service whenever needed. Ben Nandy, News 12.